What's up everyone, David here, and this is all you need to know about the newest MyDeFi pet build, so let's get to it. The MyDeFi pet team continues to listen to the community and they are constantly updating the game and releasing new features. The first thing that we have on the list is World Boss Season 3. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what that looks like. This is the screen where you will be able to see your pets, and if you notice here, this pet has a new feature of the game that's called Spirits. Now, Every time a boss die, you will be able to get this spirit. So I will get to that in just a second. But if you go here to the tab where you sign up the pets, you will be able to see the pets that actually have spirits on them and you will be able to sign them up for battle. Just the same thing as before, you will be paying some food to sign them up for the battle with the boss. And also you can click on this button right here and you will be able to see how much damage you need to get one elixir. And it's just basically the same mechanic from last season and you will also be able to click this button right here and see the counter element to fight the boss this is really nice that they've included this and well now as i mentioned now every time a boss dies you will be able to get some spirits that they will be released from the boss and if you join the battle and you have dealt damage to the boss you will be able to have a chance to get one of them this is very similar to the last hit feature with the difference that there will be several spirits released from each boss. Whereas with the last hit feature, you would have to wait until the boss is completely dead and it's basically a lottery. So if there are more chances for you to get a spirit from the boss fight because it will be releasing quite a few of these spirits. And I will be showing to you that right now. As you can see, when you sign up your pet, you just pick it up and pay the food and you just send it out to fight the boss. Um, let's check right here. We'll have the Tigra right here and paid 20,000 worth of food to sign that Tigra up. And when you get to fight the boss, which will be in 10 seconds, you will be able to see what's going on. Actually, we will be killing the boss instantly just so you can see what it looks like, but here he goes, here he goes, the tiger right now. Let's see what this tiger can do. So there it goes. It's got some spirits as well. And now that the boss is dead, you will be able to see that it dropped one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it dropped like eight spirits. And as you can see on the screen, you get boss level nine defeated. Congratulations, your pet strike the last hit and you also earn 44 D pet. Luck favors the brave and you just earn a spirit and apparently we got one wind spirit level one attack speed that's what we'll be improving in our stats once we equip that spirit and I will be showing that to you just right now. But first let's have a look at the newly styled island. So along all of these updates we also are having this amazing aesthetic update. I included some of the suggestions from the community on my NFT during the King and Queen contest and it's great to see them come to life. So as you can see, we have this newly added features that include volcanoes and this dogs over here. And if you listen carefully, yeah, there are new sounds. If you pay close attention, you will be able to hear newly added sounds that add ambient to the world so if you pay really close attention you will be able to see that on each island you're able to hear the volcanoes you're able to hear the wind you're able to hear the sea and if we go to the ice island you will be able to hear the wind because it's really cold and it's snowing so it's really really cool that they've added these new features the highlight of the sound is just amazing so it sounds really good we have some ships over here some of them are carrying some deep bed and yeah this is a regular island i think i see that some of the trees have also been trimmed so that's pretty nice i think we have more room for cages now we will be touching on the subject of cages in just a second but as you can see we have all of this you can also hear the ship can you listen yeah yeah, you can hear that, right? You can hear that. So we have the whale that just jumped over here right now. It's That's a huge giant whale for all the D-Pet whale and my DeFi pet whales that are out there. Um, that's really nice to hear. So we will be having a look at some of the features. One of the things that you can see now is that the inventory has changed because the inventory has now merged 
with the hotel. So this is this is really good if you think about it because it's really useful at this point to merge those two. This means that you will be able to place your pets in your inventory directly from the cage and there will not be a limit slot to store your pets anymore. You will also be able to sell your cage. As you can see right now, if you hold the button to move your cage, you will also see a delete button for that you can use to sell your cage. And you will be able to buy a new one. Once you have sold that one, you can get a new updated cage with a bigger capacity for silver. And we also have the sacred temple over here, which is what got most of you guys excited. So this sacred temple was placed onto our islands a while ago, and we will finally be able to use it. But how? Well, inside the sacred temple, you will be able to manage your spirits. This means you can upgrade your spirit and equip or unequip the spirit. A spirit is created when a pet is disassembled inside the sacred temple, and any pets you disassemble will not exist in the game anymore. Keep in mind that when you disassemble pets, you will pay a gas fee, and when you unequip the spirit, you will be paying elixir. So that's something that you gotta keep in mind. So again, by equipping spirits, you will be able to increase stats of your pets. And if you equip if you equip a spirit with the same element as your pet, you will unlock more hidden stats. If you don't want to disassemble pets in order, if you don't want to disassemble pets in order to get a spirit, you will also be able to earn free spirits by dealing damage to the bosses I just showed you um, just before. Something really special is that the spirit will also unlock your pet skill. More coming about this feature in future updates. Uh, as you can see right now, you, I can see all of the types of spirits because you get different, yeah, you get types of spirits uh, regarding, uh, accordingly to the element. And you also get the option to see what is it that they're improving. So you will be able to improve the attack, the speed with the same element. So for example, you will be able to get, I don't know, uh, six spirits, one that helps with attack, one, one that helps with speed and so on. And if you use the same element for the pet that is also that element, for example, if you use f all of the spirits that are fire element on a fire element pet, it will boost your stats even more. So that is something that is really interesting and that I found that it's really nice now. As you can see, this is a pet. And if you can, if you click on the spirit right here, you will be able to see that you can add all of this spirits that I've already gathered. So, and you can see what is it that the spirit is improving for the pet. And you can see the ones that are already equipped on other pets and which ones are available and what each spirit does. So. This is really nice. The pets look really nice. Also the background change. If you notice now the background where you're looking at your pet is now uh, a dark navy blue, which I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know if the final version is going to look like this, but if it does, it's just going to be sick. It looks really, really, really nice. There are a lot of different types of spirits right here. As you can see, we have water element, we have wind element, fire element, we have a lot of stuff going on around here. Right now, this winged popper has a dark, I think, no, it's got a wind, oh, another wind, a fire, and another fire, and as you can see, it costs 400 elixir to unequip that spirit right there. So we got Water spirit, earth spirit, wind spirit right here. This will improve 5, 6, 2 in attack. And yeah, so it's all looking pretty good. You can replace them all you want. You can unequip it. It's not like it's it's fixed forever to that pet. And this is something that you want to take a look at. As you can see, this is dark mode. We have a night mode that is going to be available for everyone starting at 6 p.m. in their local time. So... Can you hear that? That's a really relaxing music for when it's dark time. It's when it's nighttime, you can hear that new music. The ambient is really different. It's looking really good. So hope you like that change.
And the last thing I wanted to mention is that we will also have a new mini event. This time we will be having a 4X chance to acquire a pet with wings when you buy X in the shop. I really enjoyed and took advantage of the previous mini event of 2X in hatching pets with horns and wings. So if you're in for the best chance of hatching a pet with special accessories, don't miss out on this mini event. And finally, we have some major improvements to the game. The MyDefy pet team will buff the stats for pets that have wings, aura, and outline, and will also add a new stat called critical damage. This is all that's coming on the MyDefy pet newest build, and it's coming sooner than you think. Are you as excited as I am? David here, and I will see you all next time.